What is up guys, it is Wavis and welcome back to another video. Today we continue our series of Road to Legend or whatever it is on Clash of Clans. Basically, right now we're at a Town Hall 2 and I have upgraded a little bit since the last video. Now honestly, it was nothing special. All I would do is I would do a couple raids, you know, just a very easy raids, pick off the defensives and stuff like that. And then I'd get money and then just started upgrading stuff. But basically what I have upgraded is both of my cannons are upgraded my archer tower is fully maxed out for town hall 2 and basically almost everything is fully maxed out for town hall 2 the only things that i have left are that are not maxed out for town hall 2 are my elixir collectors and one of my gold collectors but lately i haven't even been having to really attack or anything like that reason being is because my elixir collectors and my gold mines give me all the money i need to actually be able to upgrade things so i log on basically collect all my coins and stuff like that and then i log off and that's basically how it is as you can see everything is maxed out from me just collecting from my mines and things like that so the things that i have to upgrade right now are my mines which i'm upgrading two of my elixir collectors right now one of them is going to be maxed. One of them is going to be, I think it's level three or something like that. Then after that, my gold collectors. And then of course I have my barracks, but I don't really care about archers and stuff like that. So I think I'm just going to leave that. We don't really need that, but we're going to go ahead and get into the first match here. Now this match right here, I see a lot of bases like this at this level. I don't know if there's some kind of strategy that tells you to put your base like this, but this is not a good idea, guys. The thing is, maybe this is the way the game sets it up for you and people just keep it this way through the tutorial or something like that, but this is not good. All his defenses are completely exposed to just have a barbarian rush, and that is exactly what I do right here. Now, it's not that much loot, but I mean, it's a thousand and then three thousand. I probably could have found another one, but this, this was just a little bit too easy. So I go ahead and just take all of his coins and elixir. I wasn't finding any other matches at the time. So I just thought I would do this one. And we go ahead and we completely, it looks like completely max out on elixir. And as soon as that happens, I go ahead and end the battle right there. Just because I don't care about trophies. I mean, I'll get the one star, you know, so I don't lose trophies. Trophies aren't my priority right now. Right now, it is strictly just upgrading my base and everything. We have our barbarians training right now. I skip forward to where they are fully trained, as you can see the last one running out right there. And we are ready to find another match. Again, guys, I don't really need to attack. I'm basically doing it for the series just because I could just collect from my mines because they're basically going to be maxed now. They were doing me good for the first few times. But I could collect from my mines a few thousand coins in a couple of hours and stuff like that, you know? So I am perfectly fine, but I guess attacking is okay anyway. I'm looking at this base, and this is another person who forgot to utilize their walls. I don't know if that's a thing at this level, but people are not utilizing their walls at this level. As you can see in the other video, we had the same problem too. I don't know what's happening. It might be a trend at this level or something like that, but it's a horrible trend at that. As you can see though, all of his defenses aren't open. There's that one cannon kind of hidden behind a few buildings right there. But as you saw that we just put a couple on the defenses that were open and then we just dropped and just raided the rest with all our barbarians and they'll take out the barracks and stuff like that and then they'll completely wreck that cannon so this is again another three star but of course i'm not going for three star if i can just get all this gold and elixir out in the battle because i don't really care about trophies i might have to start going for trophies later maybe if i want to get into silver league because i think that silver league for town hall i think five is a really good farming space because there's a lot of inactive bases there or something like that but right now don't really need it because there's a lot of inactive bases at the no league too and you see that i already got just a couple thousand points just from this completely maxed out my elixir so i don't need any more elixir but i still could use a little bit of gold but that's perfectly fine we go ahead and head back to our army camps and we wait for the rest of our barracks to train up we go ahead and train a little bit more barbarians just because we like to mass train them the reason being is that they train when you're out at battle that a lot of people don't know that skip forward a little bit our elixir collector is upgraded and we have one more builder free so we are going to go ahead and max out our final gold mine so now we have all the things maxing out after the gold mine all we need is that last elixir collector and we can upgrade our town hall and as you can see right there the last elixir collector is completely maxed out for town hall 2 so the last thing to upgrade 
for our base is our last elixir collector to max out we could max out our walls and everything like that but i'm not too worried about that the barracks i might actually max max them out i don't know if i will or not i don't have really a desire for it because barbarian rush is the best at these stages and everything but we'll have to see and this is another example of a very poor put together base right here all his defenses are once again wide open i don't know why these people don't think about these things they just kind of just place everything down like they don't really care or anything like that but as you can see we put everyone all our barbarians on each one of these defenses that are wide open and again not too concerned about elixir but this has 2000 gold which i could really use elixir come by comes by very easily so me needing it i don't have much of a need for it right now i know that i can get it in later battles very easily but gold is a different story but as you can see i did not drop enough barbarians i didn't keep enough for that cannon right there so that cannon is still hanging by a thread so this is going to be actually hard pressed to see if i can actually get the rest of the gold that is left in that one mine right there hopefully the cannon is distracted and not going after the ones that are going to actually go after the mine right there and it looks like it's not we are racing against the time of the cannon right now hopefully it's not strong enough to take them all out and it looks like we barely just get all the gold right there with only 300 left we could take out the town hall but i just really didn't care about trophies once again probably could have got the rest of 300 coins i didn't even think about it but we go back to base right here and as you can see our army camp just from coming back from that battle a hundred percent full because we mass produce and they trained while we were out looking for a battle and stuff like that so we go ahead and mass produce again and then they will train while we're at a battle and find another battle that's why you guys need to mass produce right there because it really helps when you're actually going out to bases and you come back and your army camps are completely full again with the rest of the barbarians that were trained while you were gone now this one this is a different type of base that has a different type of strategy. Usually the ones are like their defenses are wide open and you just swarm them with like five, six, seven barbarians and then take them all out. This one, all his defenses are protected, which is the right thing to do, but all his mines are on the outside. So I decided to just go ahead and get his mines. Reason for this is he had 5,000 of each. And as you can see, his basic storages are basically completely full or halfway full at least. And I do know that his mines are completely full as well. So I think that there's about half in the mines and I was completely correct. And we only needed about 2000 to max out our storages. So we didn't even need to attack any of the storages to max out my golden elixir. So that is basically my reasoning for that. You have to pay attention to that types of things. Look at their storages, look at their elixir pumps, because of course you can't tell with the gold mines, but you can tell with their elixir pumps if their mines are full or not, because usually if they don't collect their elixir, they don't collect their gold mines either. So based on that logic with his elixir storages and gold storages half full, you can assume that there's about half in the pumps from that 5,000, which maxed out my gold. And that will basically be it for this video, guys. It was a pretty short video today. I'm probably gonna have a new one up very very soon because this is actually pretty good to do and about the builders and things right now I have two of them it would really help if I would have three or four or five or something like that so this is the tactic that I basically decided that I would do uh, right now I'm at about 300 and something gems so what I'll do is I'll keep collecting achievements and things like that I'll keep on going and just grinding gems maybe get gem boxes buy them and stuff like that not buy them but basically collect the gem boxes in my base and then after that, until we get 500 gems so I can buy my third builder, which is 100% legit and free, then after that, I'll spend about $10 on the game to get 1,200 gems and then buy my fourth builder for 1,000 gems, which seems like a really good plan to me. I might buy my fifth builder at some point, but right now I am not sure. But we already have our bar barbarians trained and everything like that. But I'm going to end the video right here and save it for the next video for when I attack in the next video. So let me know what you guys thought of the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new and did enjoy the video. I make Clash of Clans videos and 8-Ball Pool videos. But other than that, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Wavis, and I'm out. Bye.